so I need to find a way to make this backpack the best one in the world. A banana that regenerates health and stamina? Sounds like a good little start. And you know what? Just sell this lucky clover and buy another sword. Two bananas, two swords, what could go wrong? Because now I just get a face off against this other stupid idiot who also has two bananas, but they only have one sword. Hey buddy, basic math tells me you're going down. Just keep punching them. Yeah, well, we're starting to take fatigue damage. I think that's just like poison, basically. And that's my first win. Well, I most definitely want another leather bag slot. Let's me hold more things. And then I can buy this pan that does three to four damage a hit. But I think if I can manage to squeeze this in like so, now it should be doing two extra damage because I have two foods marked in those star zones. And then we can just fit these weapons in over here. Wait, I've got extra gold. Reroll. Stone is weapons gain plus one damage. All right, we'll move the banana like that and then put the whetstone in. Now my pan does even more. On to battle two. This person's got a couple healing items and vampirism. I'm hoping though with my pan and double swords, I'll be able to hit enough hit although I'm out of stamina a lot. I didn't realize the pan uses two stamina a second. Maybe it's time to sell one of these wooden swords. Although it seems like with the fatigue damage, I was able to eke out another win. And now knowing what I know, sell the wooden sword and buy myself another leather bag. Wait, oh. this dagger doesn't cost any stamina to use. Buy this thing real quick and then roll again. Oh, there's a fanny pack in here that makes items trigger faster. And this bag of stones lets me throw more stones. I haven't got a single one, but I still might. Reserve. Hey, look, a stone. Reserve you and this extra bag slot again. Reroll one more time. It's just a tusk. On to the next fight. This person has a wooden buckler. Oh no, they're going to be able to get shield and stuff. That's not good for me. At least I regenerate like eight health every five seconds, which seems to be giving me the edge just barely. I still don't think I get enough stamina to actually fully use the attacks I have to their potential, but I think I'm just going to barely be able to eke it out. Yep. All right. Wow. We got to really get things going. Dear God, this thing looks cool. Hungry blade. It attacks so fast. I gain one vampirism on hit? I think I want it. Sell the wooden sword, buy the hungry blade, as well as this extra backpack slot. And now if I sell the pan, I can get two gold. I'm just going to sell it and then buy a stone. It's not going to do anything for me now, but it will. Generates a low quality gemstone. I don't know what that means, but it sounds cool. On to the next fight. I'm fighting. Is this a witch? What did they get a scythe for? That's scary. They also have a broom. They are severely witchy. And it looks like they just poisoned me with something. Is that what these mushrooms do? Man, can we just keep healing? They're almost dead, please. Just heal. Fatigue sets in. Okay. I just barely won that one. The poison actually almost just murdered me forever. Well, let's try these box of riches now. This bag of stones that lets me throw stones again. And then reroll, see what I get. Oh, four more backpack slots. And it gives me a potion belt with a 30% chance to trigger potions again. I do like the sound of that. All right, go get them. I'm a little concerned by the healing herbs they have, but that's fine. I'm currently double bananaed up. My heroic sword and my dagger seem to be doing at least enough. I wish I had a little bit more regen going, but that's fine. It's working out so far, right? Luckily, my stones also doing more damage, which I think is helping out a bunch. And yes, I won with three HP. Give me my round win stuff. Oh, I got a little gemstone. I can socket it into my weapons. So now I have a 25% chance to inflict a poison. Wow. Well, here, let's buy my other backpack slots, another gemstone box, and then we can reroll. Who's this? When star items activated five times, heal for 12 HP. Let's keep you around for a second, Goobert. I get the feeling that'd be pretty good. Look, there's one right there. No, and they have gemstones in here. One gives lifesteal and the other makes the weapon attack faster. That's a bit concerning. I right, will just hang in there. Keep doing damage if I could. It seems like their life steals really helping out. Cause yeah, here comes the fatigue damage. And then here comes the beating my face up. Yeah. Uh, I think Goobert's a must. Let's make sure to purchase you, Mr. Goobert. With my three gold, I can buy an extra fanny pack slot. And now we can reroll. What is this? Stamina sack? More backpack slots? Gimme. And this is just another stone. Put it on in there. Since I'm not using them, might as well just put these other rubies in the bottom of my pack. Now let's see how this fight goes. I should have a lot more regeneration, especially since my stones are going to activate pretty rapidly. Yeah, that just gave me a lot. I do have a lot of poison debuffs because of this stupid mushroom stuff. 18 of them to be exact is pretty crazy. But I all right, fatigue setting in. Goobert, can you get me some major healing by chance? No. Poison just chips my life away. I see. Well, I've got five gold now. Might as well buy this stamina sack. Honestly, another hungry blade doesn't seem half bad. Reroll again. And this flute has a chance to just give me 12 armor every five seconds. That seems pretty good to me. Next fight time. They've got a lot of pigs. And I think they're also 
poisoning me with something. They are taking a lot of damage though, however, they just seem to be healing it back. I mean, I'm sort of doing the same thing here, but still. Here comes the fatigue. If it's just a matter of who heals better, I'm fairly certain I'll be able to manage. I've got two vampire hungry blade things going after all, and sure enough, I'm just four wins away from sweet, delicious victory. Ooh, another fanny pack. Gimme. And if I got another hungry blade, I'd get another thing of vampirism. Well, here, let's reserve that and then reroll blood amulet. Gain two vampirism. Okay, yep. Give me that. That's definitely a must have. And then let's put a chipped ruby into my other sword. And now let's just see how much damage we can do. At the start of my battle, I should get four of this vampirism. That's going to give me a bunch more health back, but I think it also makes my hungry blades that much stronger. They've got steel goobert, which I think gives them a lot of shield, but that's kind of fine because my stones just destroyed extra block. Yeah, sure enough, being a little vampire freak has paid off. Be nice if I could be more of a vampire freak. And what do you know? I can. Stamina sack in, can sell one of these rubies, buy myself another hungry blade, and then give it chipped ruby for more lifesteal. And let's reroll and see if we get anything else good. Oh, another flute. I just don't have near enough backpack space for another flute though is all. You know what? I'm sure it'll be fine. That's a lot of poison that they have. Oh, I just immediately start with 18 poison to me. That feels insane. And now it's up to 21. What are they get health back whenever I'm poisoned or something? Oh no, it's just that Goobert activates for them a whole bunch. It's all right. I'm managing to hang in there, getting good life steal going. Fatigue damage is crazy. And yes, another round in. Dude, maybe I should have gone poison because I, what just happened? My chipped ruby became a flawed ruby in this thing. I didn't know that was possible. All right, we'll buy myself another potion belt and we reroll again. Does this do every one second to remove one stamina from your opponent? That seems very good. Maybe it's time to redesign our backpack. Okay, I <laughs> No, it's just gonna yeet everything over there. Yeah, we can kind of fit all the weapons like that. It's a very weird system, but it actually works out better this way because now I get the stun effect from this fanfare thing. All right, with the new redesign, I've got a lot more stars on my flute, all stars on my fanfare, and just a bunch of these random gems floating around. Goobert's also maxed out this time. So let's give her the old college try. This person has holy armor and a cursed dagger, and they're the poison freak. I feel less hopeful about my situation by the second. I know I get a lot of health back, which is nice, thanks to just, you know, a bunch of life steal, but I've got 31 stacks of poison. Yeah, I just didn't have a chance. Man. Whoa, a perfect sapphire? Let's sell my chip topaz. And actually, both of these boxes of riches. I pretty much don't need gems anymore. I've got so many. And we'll slot this perfect sapphire into my vampire blade up there. And then we can just buy myself a nice little health potion. Start the next battle. There's a lot going on here. I'm seeing thorns, natural regen, a bunch of debuffs. Luckily, I'm attacking their health directly and giving them the frost debuff, making their stuff just activate much much slower. The only downside here is I am not getting as much health back as they are. What are they attacking me with? A magic staff? Oh, that might do it. Come on, I need two more wins. Well, I guess what I could do is sell this sapphire and just buy myself another flute and then that acorn collar. It was just the last of the gold I have. Let's see if another flute can actually make the difference. They have a lot of like spikes and hurt me more things. So far though, I think I'm doing a little bit more damage. I'm hoping my ice stuff really starts coming in handy so they slow down all of their attacks. That would be really, really nice. I mean, I'm managing to stay ahead just barely, but now the fatigue damage is coming in. I do not know. It's extremely close and no, I was just like one off. How could I be so close and yet so far? Man, now my day's just ruined. Well, all we can do is just try again. So I'm able to purchase things from the shop that helps upgrade my little backpack, like this pig that gives me gold or this tusk that gives me spike thorns. The fights kind of carry on with stamina. Thanks to my wooden sword that does hitting, my banana will heal me here. And and wow, we've been fighting for a while because it's starting to become nighttime. That's just so crazy, but that's one round one. Many, many more to go. Chop refreshed and oh, leather bag. Yes, I would love an extra four slots. I think what I can do here is buy this rare dagger for four gold, like so, and then just buy another pig. Now I just get two gold every time I enter the shop. My upgrades got to be pouring in. This person has a big old broom though, which is a little scary. And it seems to me like they're healing up much faster than I am. However, our stamina is just about the same and I'm managing to do a lot of damage thanks to my extra dagger. Oh, I won by one HP. All right. That was horrifying and scary. I think what I want to do now is just sell my old wooden sword as I feel like it's just not quite cutting it out. And then now let's just re-roll the shop. Oh, another leather bag. Put that on in there because now I've got plenty of space and stuff to be arranged. Oh, you can also just move these slots at any time if there's nothing in them. Talk about handy. Well, this onion thing gives me shield and this shield also gives me shield. So let's buy both of those. 
and see how we do. I've only got my attack dagger now, and this person has just a wooden sword and a tusk, but it seems like my shield is helping me stay alive, and I'm just slowly whittling them down. They have these whetstones, though, that just give their weapon extra damage, and a stone that hurts. Wait, what is fatigue damage doing? I don't know. I managed to eke out a win, though. That was scary. I don't want to be fatigued and damaged. What is this? A legendary bag item? Maybe I should buy that. If I start coming across potions, that can be really handy. And now we reroll. Another armor game 40 shield. In that case, just sell the shield and then sell my onion because I can just put this puppy on and this fanny pack gives me two more backpack slots. Let's see if I can manage to eke out a win now. They've got the gloves of haste that attack faster and two healing bananas. I'm starting to wonder if I'm even going to do enough damage to out DPS their healing. It looks like fatigue damage has started to come in in the later half and I won by one HP yet again. Wow, thankfully, because I was really weak. Sitting at 12 gold. I've got a lot of cool things in the shop here. I think I most definitely want to buy this health potion and then this stone skin potion to keep me alive. And then another little bit of this fanny pack can go right on down in there. Getting more spaces is sure to come in handy and oh my gosh, this spike shield seems horrifying. They also have the hero sword. Man, that sounds so much cooler than my dagger. Also, they are hurting me much more than I am hurting them. Oh no, that's probably because they have three spikes and I just have the one. Oh, here comes fatigue damage in too. This isn't good. Luckily, I've got my health potion that gave me a little bit of shield on the just up end, but it's a tie. No, I won. My potions actually saved my life right there. Thank you, potions. It's at this point where I'm thinking I should probably find a better item. This stamina set can help though, as well as a customer card increases the rarity of one item in the shop every time it refreshes. Buy that, we'll refresh. It's gave me a legendary fanfare. Ooh, or another dagger. I'm coming back for you, friends. Who am I fighting now? Someone with a slime poison goobert? That doesn't sound good. Does this person have any healing though? They've got a vampirism blood thing. It seems to be working out for them so far, but whenever the fatigue starts setting in and we just all keep taking damage, I don't know. Wow, I am super mega poisoned. That is actually very painful. All right. Note to self, not strong enough to be poisoned. Buy my spear for some more damage, buy this dagger for some more damage, and let's re-roll the shop. Oh, another potion belt? Or this godly great sword that does so much damage. Want to reserve you for now. And then let's go ahead and buy this potion belt that is right up there. All right, next battle. They've got a lot of healing potions potions and a lot of healing herbs. So even though I'm going to be doing a ton of damage, they're just going to be able to get most of it back. I feel like I've lost all my armor at this point too. And yep, there went one of their healings, but they just got the free health potion. Oh no. Are they actually going to be able to beat me with their fatigue damage just setting in? And I'm no, I lost again. Whoa. Why did I get rid of my stuff? Oh, I'm specializing in things. This piercing arrow feels like it's extremely good. So I'll just take that and I'm going to sell both my pigs as well as this wall risk tusk because it's old because now I can squeeze this impractically large greatsword in to hopefully hit a crap ton of damage on everybody. And then why not? An extra lucky clover. Reroll. Oh yes, more backpack space. Give me that. And there's a godly fencing thing here. Take that too. Let's see what four big old weapons can net me here. 56 armor starting out. Luckily my spear just does, well, chip armor damage. And my greatsword just took off so much of their health. It just cost five stamina though. So sometimes I don't have enough to use it. But when I do, man, and it pays off. The fatigue damage is going in. And I just, yeah, godly greatsword really cleared that, huh? If I can get four more wins before I lose three more times, we'll really be in business. More backpack slot there. Can finally buy these boots. And we reroll. Another stamina sack. Wow, that's actually extremely good. As well as a heroic legendary potion. Buy that too. And this little genie lamp, where every two seconds it gives me a little thing, feels like it's going to be the most useful weapon of all time. Well, assist item that is. All right, here we go again. They've got a lot of things here. What is this? Lucky Piggy? My nickname in high school, I think. If I can just manage to hit with my godly greatsword. No, I've been out of stamina both times. It's been ready. I think my issue is that I just don't have enough stamina regeneration going on to actually use it because I'm using too many other weapons. In that case, we can sell one of my daggers and then also buy another stamina sack. All the way down to three gold. I might as well just buy another Lucky Clover because it gives me more accuracy per stack. And now let's see if we can actually manage to win this time. The Hungry Blade. Oh, I I think they have a big old vampire build, which is a bit concerning, but luckily my godly great sword should also have enough stamina now to be able to hit things. I'm doing really not that much damage because they just get all of their healing back. Oh no, vampirism is so strong. Holy 
armor too? That sounds crazy. Here, sell my other stupid thing. Buy this on up. I'm also just gonna buy a fanny pack. Round 11 going in. I've got six wins. This person has a lot of like base level one items. We'll see how this one manages to go. I just hit big for like 42 damage. I'm regening my stamina well enough. My empower is going. The fatigue damage is coming in though. They just keep getting armor back from Steel Goobert. I should have gotten me a Goobert. 